Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. George here. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Um, I know it's been a little bit uh, since I've been or uh, put out a video, and um, I just wanted to let you know that um, I uh, this summer I had a uh, something to happen to me. Um, a dear close uh, friend. Um, passed away, uh, was in a car accident back in July, um, early July, and it's really kind of bothered me, um, well, not kind of, it really has bothered me a lot, so I really haven't been in the right frame of mind to uh, do a video, but I felt like that it was time to get back at it and try to, uh, you know, get you folks uh, a video out and uh, because you know I, I appreciate every each and every one of you uh, watching and uh, and the friend that passed away would um, they would dearly definitely want me to be uh, continuing my work with the video here so this is our reading here, folks. This is the first reading that I've did since, um, um, or the big reading since um, the passing of uh, my friend's life. And um, this one means a lot because there's a lot of things that came up personally for me, but this is going to be for you guys too. This is going to be some readings that uh, is hopefully going to give you an awareness um, of things that uh, could be coming up in the future for you uh, that you just need to be aware of. There's nothing scary here. Uh, um, and again, I like to let everybody know I'm not a psychic. I'm just a messenger. Um, I love studying the cards of Terra and all the spirit world to see what spirits can, how they can communicate if it's possible. So with this board, I give uh, the spirits opportunity options, and I'm hoping that something comes through, because I will tell you the last uh, video that I did, uh, which was May 29th that I posted, um, I went back and looked at this video um, the other day, and I have to say, folks, it's it's kind of frightening of the stuff that came up because it was in my mind it was trying to tell me something was about to happen and I need to um, possibly be aware of it and at the time sometimes we just don't see all that but what I did see is that if there is spirits on these boards and you can believe or not believe uh, I do believe that they are trying to give you a sense of recognition, you know, that, that they they know what's going on, they know what possibly could be coming up, and that, uh, you know, life is, stuff happens in life, and they understand. This just, I know it's kind of deep, um, but I, I feel like that sometimes when you look at these readings on the board that the spirits are trying to tell us something, uh, from our past to to the present and even on into the future. And I truly believe that my past video of uh, May 29th really, really was speaking to me. And I didn't realize what I was seeing. Would it have made a difference? Uh, maybe, maybe not. But that's it just made me open my eyes that uh, there is spirits around. They understand what's going on in your life or what could be happening in your life or what may have happened in your life in your past and I think they're there to kind of guide you in a good direction and try to keep you from being feeling such alone so I don't know it's, it's hard to explain but anyway folks this is the new reading this is what I call the harvest moon reading uh, you know our, we've got our full moon and uh, September here. So anyway, uh, some of the stuff on the board is pretty explanatorial. So if you, uh, so without further ado, let's, let's go ahead and get this started and I'll kind of 
uh, tell you a little bit of what's going on if you're not sure. But uh, again, thank you for watching, and well, here we go. Hello, hello, spirits. George here. Spirits, I know it's been a while since I've spoken with you. Um, we have some viewers that are looking for maybe some answers of what was, what is, or what could be. And if you could help us with that, that would be that would be really appreciated. And I want to bring in all the good spirits, but I want to bring and get I want to get all the bad spirits out of here. So with this bell sound, all the bad spirits, please remove yourself from this board. I want only positive spirits here. And folks, if you're not aware, uh, from what I understand, when you ring a bell, if there, if there is a bad spirit in your presence, the bell sound apparently will get rid of them. Hmm. So let's hope so. Now, spirits, I would like to try to find out if in your human life, if you were a, an adult male, adult female, or a child, female, or child, male. And we have the numbers here. So, spirits, if you can help me, I'm going to roll a dice. I need a one, two, three, or four. So, if you could just tell me, if you could give me an indication if I have spirits here. And if I do, this is one way you can communicate if you get close. Let's see here if we have some activity here. We do, we do have a little activity here. Can you see that? And folks, this here is a magnetic reader or energy reader, and if uh, it can pick up presence of uh, energy that uh, surrounds this board, and boy, it it was picking up something. Oops. We have a little bit. We have a little bit of activity. Spirits, you can, you can let us know that you're here by many ways, by communicating with these devices here. Oh yes, we got, we have, we definitely have something. Oh yes. Hello spirits, I see that you're here. Okay. <laughs> okay spirits. A one, two, three, or four. If you were in these boxes here, it'll let you let me know um, if you were a male, female, or a child male, or a female child. One, two, three, or four. Oh, there's a five, so that means they're studying. They're studying. Now, if there's more than one spirit here, can one spirit please pick who I'm speaking to, or if 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 you're a male or female can you at least let me know that if there is a male or a female in my on my board here close to the reading here a one okay oh all right so let's see what the one has to say here all right and we have Oh, look, folks. We have a child female. Now, folks, you know, um, you may not be aware of this, but my good friend, Marilyn, uh, which uh, I do want to let you know that, that uh, uh, she is not the one who passed. Uh, she's still uh, alive and well and doing oh, very good. Um, this is some of the techniques that she uses when she does her reading. She's a, uh, she's 82, almost 83, um, years old, years young. And she is, uh, she's been a psychic for almost all her life since she's been very, very young. So she uses a lot of this and she helps me, or she has helped me understand some of the principles of maybe communicating with spirits. Um, I know a lot of people find it hard to believe that, that it, you know, that it's impossible, but 
I believe that it is possible. If there is spirits, I believe it is possible for them to communicate and kind of uh, let us know what's going on with the different items. And so this, th this reading here is for all of us, but I'm definitely picking up uh, something from this reading for myself. We have a ch child female. So thank you, spirit. So we have a child female, possibly. Ooh. So folks, this may mean something from the past, the present, or the future. Spirits, I have some numbers here. I'm going to pull two numbers here. And if you can give me a number that would mean something to someone that's watching this. And today's date is 9-17-2024. It is the full moon. It is the harvest moon of September here. So, all right. Pull out my first number. And folks, you're going to notice that the table is moving a little bit. Unfortunately, I did not have my uh, lamp secured that was lighting the board. And it was, um, the, the lamp also holds my camera. And so every time my table, I guess my leg would hit the table, the lamp would move, the camera would move. So you're going to see that every once in a while. So um, I don't think it's the spirits doing it. It's just the spirit of my leg hitting the table, and that's what it is. Is a three? Got a three. Hmm. And let's see. And the second number is seven. So I'm going to say thirty-seven. So yeah. So thirty-seven, folks. I tell you, this number is probably going to mean something to you. Uh, either the 3, the 7, or or um, 37, or 73. You can reverse these. But something in this number can mean something. And I'll tell you, my last video, a number came up, and it came up oh, uh, 06. Well, it just so happened that my friend passed away on the 6th of July. And is it a coincidence? I don't know. But um, yeah, so when you're looking at this, folks, you may not know or understand what these mean or what these numbers might mean, but it could be something from the past. It could be from the present, but it also could mean something um, that you need to be aware of uh, in the upcoming, upcoming future. Let's see. 37 on the neutral thing. And at this point, too, I, I like to try to give the spirit that may be at the table, give them a name, something that they can kind of relate to, um, you know. And it's uh, uh, Marilyn always told me that, and she tells me that, yeah, but given a, being as personal to the spirits and friendly uh, to them and let them know that you're, they're welcome, uh, they can certainly give you some advice and, and, and give you some good positive advice. So, Harper, so I can remember you. Now, you know, and the word Harper here, this is the child, the female child's name, um, and I have a list with whatever number comes up, I just um, write down the name. But I've had these names to mean something to people so, so very much. So if this name means something to you in this reading, let me know in the comments. Spirits, I'm going to name one of you Harper. And you may have helped me pick this name for a reason. There may be a reason for this. So we have 37. And we have Harper here. Thank you, spirits. Thank you so much. And again, bad spirits, be gone. I want all bad spirits out of here. I feel, I feel like I have good spirits here, but I want to make sure. And now, spirits, this here is our season chips or season stones uh, for spring, summer, fall, and winter. If there's a something on this board that's going to be coming up, and for some of, some of the viewers here that need to pay attention closely, that either from the past to our present, or maybe this is something in the future that we need to be a pay, uh, be aware of, 
can you kind of give me the color of the stones of just what's what someone needs to be on the lookout for <laughs> we got winter folks i gotta tell you this this stone just keeps coming up uh, but on my last reading it didn't uh it well it did but it was two other different ones and the one of them was summer that came up but here we have the winter stone so this possibly could mean something to us uh from the past winter or this upcoming future winter winter can you see that folks that is winter i mean so that way the blue one interesting uh the blue one seems to come up a lot all right so we have um we have winter thank you spirits for that now spirits before we do our card readings uh we have our beautiful fortune tellers here and um and folks i want to let you know that i do have videos on these all four um fortune tellers so uh they're in the playlist so if you will just look for that and they're just really short videos but very interesting stories about these fortune tellers uh, annie jones Lester Halogenia, uh, we have um, El Cazona Gadanes, and we have, of course, uh, the bearded lady, Madame uh, Clementine de Leite. These are an amazing fortune tellers that I that helps um, me in the reading. So, so if the spirits here could help me with a. Uh, with a fortune teller. I'm going to roll the dice again and with your help, spirits, one, two, three, or four. Ooh, another five. You spirits are studying. Which one do you want us to talk about? Or which um, fortune teller do you want us to, or want to help us today with a card reading? Three, one, two, three. Okay. Thank you, spirits. That. And let's see who we have. Ah, uh, Elgazona Gadames. And she represents the club. Can you see her? She represents the club. Yeah, the, um, uh, the, each one of them represents one of the suits. And she has, she represents the clubs. And it helps me pick a card uh, from the Cardamency stack. And we'll get to that here in just a moment. And we'll get to Burr in just a moment. <laughs> now spirits it's time for our cards our tarot card readings and uh, these are from the Irish deck and um, folks um, I do only just pull one card of the tarot card in this reading uh, I know that a lot of people are very familiar with uh, tarot card readings and a lot of times the uh, the uh, the psychics and the reader will pull out many many cards but I was told by uh, Marilyn and other people that, you know, you can get just as good a reading off of just one card. Uh, so that's what I chose to do. That's what I chose to do here in these readings when I have a lot of other things going on. So that's why you'll see just one and uh, if you of can, the tarot cards. I need a card for you to help me with a card that may can send a message or give a message to someone who... And boy, oh boy, folks, listen. The one card, just that one card, every time is so powerful. It really is. Maybe watching. And I'm going to again roll the dice. And how many cards to deal out to get to the one card? Spirits, I just need one card. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Now, let's see. This is our tarot card. And if it's either reversed or forward. So we'll flip it. Oh, look at that. It's the Eight of Cups, folks. Oh, this is a struggling. A struggling. Can you see that? So, folks, the Eight of Cups, um, let me go to the Pix Moner so you can see. 
Um, Marilyn always said that pay attention to the artwork of whatever tarot card that you're looking at. The artist was blessed with some sort of uh, thoughts and powers, if you if you may, um, to design this card. And not every tarot card deck is is the same, um, but they each have the same meaning in a sense but the artwork is always different and this may mean something to you folks um i mean it it may mean something um you know that uh, is very strong so let's go back to the meaning of this card and uh wow. in a general context the eight of cups reversed can indicate stagnation when it appears you may be accepting your lot in life, or staying in bad situation that makes you terribly unhappy because you are afraid of moving on or worried about what the future might hold if you leave. You may appear happy to those around you but underneath it all you know you need to get let go of certain people or situations in your life in order to move forward. You are resisting this change because you are paralyzed by fear. It can also be a sign of running away from situations, not because they are bad but because you are afraid to take a chance and be vulnerable. This minor arcana card in a reversed position can show a lack of emotional maturity and can also be an indicator of low self-esteem or low self-worth. It can also represent returning home after a long period of traveling or living abroad. So that's a very interesting card right there, folks. It's meaning something to me. Um, Again, um, I may go back in a month or two and re-watch this video, and it could mean something completely different, which is just going to blow your mind, possibly. And I've had that to happen many times, watching these videos about the readings. So, but yeah, if uh, anything from the past or present or the, or the future has, you know, something about the lack of self-awareness and the lack of emotion, um, you know, cleanliness, you know, the fear of commitment, uh, and also the fear of abandonment. Uh, this card can mean a lot to a lot of people. So let me know in the comments uh, if this if if this card is meaning something to you. That's an interesting card there, folks. The Eight of Cups. Okay, and again, bad spirits, if I have any negative spirits here, please go away, please, and you can communicate spirits. Okay, spirits, now, these are the cardamency cards. Our fortune teller, Madam Elkazon de Gadames here, uh, she represents the clubs. And spirits, whoops. Huh. Uh, did you see that the three of diamonds popped out there? I noticed that when I was shuffling that, but we're working, looking for the clubs, but mm, the three of diamonds, a tangled mess. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to flip through the cards, and the first club I come through. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these. The first card that I come to, or the first club I come, club card I come to, that is going to be our reading card from the Cardamancy cards. So, so let's see here. It's the heart. And it's the spade. And there it is. There's our first club right there. Yes. That is the Jack of Clubs, folks. Yeah, the, um, the Jack of Clubs, folks, is a, a as a it's it's one of them cards that if you're a if you have a family member that you're not sure what's going on with, a lot of times this card will come up. And uh, so let me run here. This is um, the card represents a like um, maybe a a gay person. Uh, it also can re represent sports and hunting so this may be something that has uh that has come up in your past your present or the future 
And it could mean that there could be a, you may have a secret admirer. You could have a family member that's trying to tell you that they're gay and they don't know how. Uh, so, yes, yeah, a very interesting, very interesting card. So here is the references, some male or female angels of the rainbow, swimming, ponds, fishing, sportsmanship, male dancing, male clothing, and young pilots of any mobile device. So it's an interesting statement there. But um, this card can rec represent uh, not only just gay people, you know, in a sense, it can represent somebody that you know that goes fishing or loves sports um, or dancing. Uh, so there may be something that has happened in the past that you know that this card has kind of popped up and kind of said, okay, we're aware of what's going on, but it could also mean something presently that you may be going through uh, or in the future you may be getting ready to get it confronted about uh, so, you know, it's always a, the, the, the spirits always seem to be trying to tell you something to kind of ease your mind, to let you, or, or to kind to get you aware or get you ready for things that, uh, that could be, um, in a good or a bad situation that could be getting ready to happen or it has happened and that things are going to be okay. So the angels are always with you if you believe that. Remember that, folks, that angels are always, you have angels around you. So, yeah, keep them close to you. And then the card also represents uh, the state, North Carolina and Oklahoma. Uh, but Jamaica is the country of what this card, so that could be telling you something, too, so. And the meaning of it, here's the meaning. This is Lawrence. Lawrence and his remarkable adventures have endured many miles of pain. He encompasses both the male and the female sexual desires. His sexuality is questionable by many. As you wait in his waters today, he needs you to listen to your own judgmental thoughts and be prepared as others may judge you too. Lawrence is a rational and very intrusive loving male. He represents a reliable friend that other so-called friends will judge and judge you as you walk behind his path. Be prepared for many prying eyes behind your back. He can also represent a red, blonde, brunette older male over the age of 25. The waters that he weighed in is murky at best. So that card, this card, folks, um, it is speaking volume and it came up for a reason. Somebody's watching this. Um, it's, it's talking to you. Uh, don't know what, uh, but it'll be up to you to figure this out. But it's definitely a good positive thing because it's something that's saying that you need to, if you are confronted with a situation that you don't know how to handle it, just understand that it's okay to accept because uh, everybody... Uh, lives their own life and you shouldn't hate anybody for who they love so even though you would not do the same thing you know uh, doesn't mean that you you, sh you should always try to respect other people's decisions the way I look at it so but for some reason this card came up for us so now um, Madam Elkazona the Dames, uh, this is her message from this card. Uneducated beliefs can do damage to the soul. Live and learn. Boy, what a strong message, especially in this day and time, folks. I mean, really, really strong message. Love this. So. Yep. I love the card of Mincy cards. That's a, that's a telling story. Wow. It's Jack of Clubs. Now, I have here, we have the characters. So spirits, we have the characters and the event. Now, spirits, if there's a, and Harper, if you're here, 
spirit harper, a uh, young female, and any spirit that may be here helping us on this board. We have the character bag. And so these are kind of, uh, these are people that may be associated with somebody that's watching. And it can be a job description of what they are or what kind of person they are. But I have uh, these here, uh, these tags. So I'm gonna pull out one and help me, just help me pull out one, one tag there, spirits. Just one tag. Ooh. All right, so here we go. And we have an Acastric Soul. <laughs> um, that? So I was having a really difficult time um, pronouncing this, okay? Uh, An Acastric, I can't do it. But it just, um, it means... Um, Kind of well. Let me see. I'm reading this off of here. Just uh, it's a person. It's a Greek word, first of all, um, and it's usually referenced to something old-fashioned or like an antique. But it can also mean anything that is um, something that it clashes with the time in which it is seen. So I don't know if that means something. I know there, I know you folks are. Uh, reading this and you can uh, understand this word uh, more than I can but uh, it came up for a reason so this is our person that it may be reflecting to somebody that we may know that this means so so mm, and okay you know uh, maybe a constant soul Okay, um, so that's a um, interesting. That's I don't interesting know. Let me know in the there. comment so what you think this that means. Is our, so that's, that's our character. So we got to have an event with this character. Um, it's our so, um, person, or what the person may be, you know, may mean to you, right here. Now with that, anacostic, there has to be an event that went along like, with this somehow. And it could be an event that don't even go with that, but it could be an event that has something to do with uh, just the being. So if you can give me an event, spirits, just give me an event. I'm going to pull one card out. And we have... Whoa. The dispute escalates. So this is a... To me, this means something from, um, I'm just going to say, some people that I know, and I know this is something that I need to be aware of, that, um, you know, it there, there's a strong presence of this, of a dispute. I'm just going to say that. The so. dispute escalates. Okay, that is very interesting. And, and let's see. Caustic, spirit, soul, and the dispute. Yes, I know this is a lot yeah. for you, but um, that's, a, that's a, folks. That's an interesting kind of setup, right? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, the character and what's going on with that. So. We have the uh, the blocks here, and these are the telling blocks. I call them, and, and I'm going to roll this. And let's see what comes up. If it's something that uh, maybe maybe we need to concentrate on. Hmm. The future. The future. The future, folks. So hmm, we got a winter stone. We got 37 harbor and then the future. Hmm. That's interesting. See that? So something about the future. Winter. Hmm. The spirit escalates. Okay. Wow. And along with that, spirits, we have our season cards. So we had our season mm. with winter, but our season cards. This will help us maybe, possibly, know yeah. that something from the past, the present, or the future is trying to tell us something. To be aware. and it and it does, folks. I'm telling you, it does. <laughs> Wait till you see with this one card. Where of something? Oh my gosh. And spirits, how many to deal out to get to that one card? 
three. One, two, and three. Okay. We'll uncover that here in just a moment. We have another one to go with it. This is the season cards also. The telling cards. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I call them. And again, spirits, can you help me with a number to get to that one card in this deck? Oh, one. Well, they didn't waste no time there. Nope. No, they did. Okay, let's see what we have here. So <laughs> something, folks. When I saw this, I thought I was going to choke. I thought, oh my god, really? Within three months. Okay, so we got a cat there. Now, what have we heard? Well, a lot of us about cats here lately. I mean, I'm not going to say it, but if you know what this means or what this may be trying to tell us, um. Yeah, that's. I just think this is funny. And within three months, so this is September, October, November. Mm, well, okay, so or December. Uh, we could say that's three months, but we got a cat there. Just remember that. <laughs> oh my God! In the future, possibly within three months, mm. December maybe. And let's see what else goes with it, and possibly something in April. Yeah, I I don't know, folks, what that would mean. We've got a future block, and we got in April. So, um, you folks may want to come back in April or May and uh, look at this video and say, wait a minute, I can't believe the spirits knew, you know? And it's possible. I mean, yeah. So, hmm. But the cat. Interesting. We oh have my a, gosh, a kitten in there. Should always look at the cards. <laughs> hmm. Within three months. Maybe from three months from this April. Is huh. In April, within three months. I don't know. All right. So this may mean something to you all. We have Harper. <laughs> it does to me. It does our to me. Spirit sure. on the board. Uh, we have the uh, Eight of Cups, which was reversed. Yeah. And uh, that's an interesting story. And then we have the Jack of uh, Clubs. This character here could mean something with what's going on here. It is all up to you to read the puzzle here. And again, folks, I just want to elaborate, elaborate that I am not a psychic. I am just the messenger. But from this point now, I would like to go to the tea leaves and uh, give us a final reading and the spirits, if you could come with me to the tea leaf board so we can see if we can have a message from the tea leaves. <laughs> Welcome to the tea reading board. So folks, um, this is um, this is the part of the, the reading I really enjoy a lot because um, I never knew what could really come about this but I had to say that the last video that I keep talking about the one in May um, it boy the tea the tea leaves you hear all the time um, we need to hear we need to read the tea leaves you know if we could read the tea leaves we could maybe know what's getting ready to happen but you know I I, I gotta tell you something told me in the read the the tea leaves last time in the reading that I didn't realize it was trying to tell me but boy this is something spirits, if I have any spirits here that can help me and um, if you can help me with this tea leaf reading there's some folks out here that are watching that need a message um, that uh, possibly that you can maybe give us some sort of image in the tea leaves that would be amazing uh, again I do not want any negative spirits here I want only positive spirits if you are a negative spirit please leave this board this area I want only positive spirits and you know folks uh, back in the day um, long time ago, many, many, many years ago, uh, the 1700s, 1500s, 
uh, you know, reading tea leaves was considered uh, like witchery. Uh, they, they actually shot people, hung people, burned people for doing such things. And they and this is how the tea leaf reading came about, because uh, the uh, a lot of the people, men and women, that would read cards and do, you know, the psychic work and stuff like that, um, they would start reading tea leaves and get an image from it. And they could, uh, and it was a, a safer way to tell somebody what they need to be aware of. Uh, so this is getting ready to get a little interesting in this tea read. So, all right, now spirits, I have I have our tea leaves here. So if you can just, uh, if you can give us. You can give us a message from the tea leaves. That would be amazing. Spirits, if you can give me a message, give you a message from the tea leaves. And that's my personal watch that helps with the spirits. Here we go. Okay. And we'll come back to this, what I call the scraps here in just a moment. Yeah. And here we are. Oh. Mm. Oh, gosh. Okay. Can you see that, folks? Let me get up here so I can surely see it. So we have. I don't know if this is chaos, but this image is going to mean something to you. Yeah, this let me is um, maybe a child. I, I I don't know, folks, what exactly I'm looking at, but here's what I'm saying. I'm saying at the top that that looks like a like a lazy person, maybe somebody that don't care. Uh, and this is just my view, but I do want to know what you see, what you think it is. And I see other people talking to this lazy person, this person that just don't give a, a damn. I, I hate to say that, but just, you know, don't care. And it that's what it seems like. There's several people trying to um, talk to this person. When I first saw this, I didn't know what, what am I looking at. But then the bottom... Below here, I was thinking it looks like a like a child maybe running or something, but I still don't understand exactly what I'm looking at. It looks like somebody maybe running, somebody charging towards something with a weapon. So I don't know, but let me know what you think. This is something. It is. It really there's, is. Uh, there's people maybe talking to someone. Yeah. But we, it looks like we have maybe a child here. Yeah, and, and, and the have... more you look at it, the more you can see. And, and that's the whole idea, folks. It may be telling us something that we really need to pay attention to, uh, or it may, not, it may be nothing. But I, I see something here. I, I see... I see something for sure. I have an image, and you may see something different here. And of course, we have little spackles here. Hmm. It's so images. amazing, folks, that every one that the comments that I get on the tea leaf re reading is amazing. I love your comments, folks. There's so many people see so many different things, and they can see the same thing, right, that I see. But uh, I'm amazed at what people really see. And I think when you see something of your own image here, it makes you understand it, uh, or makes you try to, it, it just brings a light to something that happened in the past, the present, or is possibly going to be in the future. And I want to tell you, 
I am not kidding you folks. From my last reading on May 29th, I keep going back to that, but I, I do believe the spirits were telling me something was about to happen and I need to be aware of it and be ready for it. And I just didn't see it at the time. I wished I uh, could have, but I just didn't. And I don't know if it even would have made a difference, but there was definitely something in that tea reading that stood right out when I watched it uh, just a day or so ago. I rewatched it, right? And I'm like, oh, brother, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is crazy. So, let's see. This, this could be even like a classroom. And I'm thinking this is a person. Yeah. This Something, looks like a child. Something's going on and in this room. People may sure. be talking to this person here. That's what it appears to be. And this is what we call the scraps. Look yeah, this is um, the leftovers. It looks like and maybe. Watch this, folks. Watch this. Laying down praying. Did you see that? That is crazy. The the I just moved it a little bit and it and the tea leaves changed and it changed from a whole different view, I mean, of what, what was originally. But it's like a head of something is looking back and looking like and and maybe this image is something going forward and looking back of what was. So what does that tell us? Let me know what you think this is, but boy, there's a lot going in on this. And I call these the scraps, the leftovers. What image you see here of the tea readings? Almost looks like a dragon or something. Here. But that was something when the, you when the head, you know, when the head moved. So, mm. and you will see an image here. You will see something is going to tell you something about this image here. Yep, definitely. Very interesting. Mm. Mm. Something Spirits, like a race. Thank you again mm. for helping from the board and to the tea leaf <laughs> reading. Thank you so much, Spirits. Wow. Folks, and Spirits, wow. you are now. I'm asking you to leave the board here and the other board. And I will request your presence again soon. Mm. Thank you, Spirits, will. for helping out. Thank wow. you. So, folks, that uh, th this is a very interesting read. There always are the spirits. They never let us down. There are angels here, guardian angels, phenomenons, spirits. Uh, they're all around. Uh, no matter what you believe in, I believe something tries to talk to us um in many ways and sometimes we just uh we're blind to the situation to the to the view of it so but i hope you did get something from this uh, uh please let me know in the comments if you did and um folks if you will if you have not subscribed to the channel please do so um it'll uh help get this video out to more people that may want to see it or may need to see it right so, and let your friends know, you know, tell your friends, hey, you, know, you may want to check out this video. Uh, the vid What you're seeing in this reading, I do like the personal readings, you know, and um, and it's pretty much, it depends on what the situation is, but uh, it's pretty much like this. And I've had so many people to tell me that while this was talking to me, so much so it yeah well folks thank you so much i hope all of you have a very safe uh, evening on this harvest moon of september and um of 2024 we've got uh some uh, some well some interesting stuff coming up as you know here in america um with the uh the election and everything and we all need to be positive and strong get rid of the hate uh we need to talk to each other we need to listen to each other's so what you know and uh we don't always have to to agree 
but we do need to listen to each other so and get to know your neighbors uh, better right so folks thank you so much uh, and until next time I hope all of you will please be safe until next time folks this is George and we'll see you down the road thank you for watching bye bye